video I'm going to explain how to use Project Libre to make a Gantt chart. So you load it up, click on create project, give it a name, so for example, tasks. So simple like that. And then on this side here, just start writing the name of your tasks. So for example, the first thing we're going to do when we make a project, talk to the client, write up the meeting, this requirements, make a Gantt chart, draw a mood board, got to do lots of project planning bits, draw a mind map, work out critical path, choose a storyboard, talk with the client again to show them the design, maybe update the design, but my design that was the storyboard, okay implement the design and then test design release design so that could be let's just make that a bit bigger that could be an example list of like 13 different tasks that i would be doing for my project so as you can see at the moment i've said they all last a day which let's say isn't realistic maybe talking to the client is going to be 0.5, so half a day, writing up the meeting, another half a day, listing the requirements takes two days, making a Gantt chart takes two days, mood boards are really slow, so let's say three days, also going to take me three days to draw a mind map, critical path's going to take me two days, let's say. Um, producing the storyboard, that's lots of work, talking to the client again, that's going to be a couple of days. Updating the design takes a week. Implementing the design is going to take a week. Test the design is going to take me three days. And release the design is going to take me one day. Great. So those are all my tasks. And as you can see, at the minute, I'm claiming you can do them all at the same time, which is untrue. So that's where you edit the predecessors, which is the same as dependent tasks in BTEC speak. So predecessor to writing up the meeting is talking to the client. After you've written up the meeting, you can list the requirements. Um, yeah, you can make a Gantt chart, you can draw a mood board, you can draw a mind map. None of those are dependent on each other. They're, you finish the meeting and then different people can do those, let's say. The critical path is going to follow on from my Gantt chart, let's say, so that can go there. Um, producing the storyboard. To produce a storyboard, hmm, I'm going to say you need to have done the mind map and the mood board. So to have multiple predecessors, you just use a semicolon, so five, six. Um, yeah. The critical path and Gantt chart don't need to have been finished before then, that's okay. Well, but actually, yeah, you probably need a list of your requirements before then as well. So let's add that into there. So three, five, and six. Okay, talking with the client. We talk to the client after we finish our storyboard. Then having spoken to the client, we update our design. Having updated the design, we implement the design. Having implemented the design, we test the design. And having tested the design, we release the design. So there you are. That's my project. Starts on the 18th of November. Starts on Monday. And it finish on Boxing Day. Um, on here, as you can see, you don't work Saturdays and Sundays. You can change that somewhere in here. I can't honestly remember. It's not that important. Right, there you are. So you can change, for example, so you work 24 hours instead of just eight or fives. Um, and you can definitely change weekends as well. But that gives me a Gantt chart for my tasks. And the bits that are red are because that's my critical path. So there you are, one Gantt chart.